welcome back to social studies. We started this worksheet the other day, hemispheres and continents on the globe. Um, it says, remember, you, you can refer to pages G4 to G11 in your textbook. We are on G4, G5 in our textbook. So we've already done question number one, and I said, after you make sure you get all the parts and pieces done, you can put a check mark there just saying, hey, I've done that. Number two says, in which hemisphere are the continents of North America and South America located? Label them. In which hemisphere are the continents of North America and South America located? Label them. Well, are North America and South America in this hemisphere? Can you see North America and South America here? Yeah. Yes, so this would be the Western. I'm not gonna make you make, I'm not gonna make you write Western Hemisphere, but just write Western. We're gonna put comma. Now, not Miss Richardson, but another teacher did this really cool trick that says, hey guys, guess what? This one's worth three points. I don't always use the point system. However, it tells you how many answers you should have there, right? So this is giving me a clue. Gosh, Miss Richardson. And, and the other thing is, which hemisphere are the continents? So let's look at the hemispheres again. Now, we said it's in the Western Hemisphere. There is North America and South America. Can we see North America or South America in the Eastern Hemisphere? No. Can we see North America or South America in the Southern Hemisphere? We can, well, we can, can we see it in, the, in either one of them in the Southern? Yes. Yes, so we can see it in the Southern Hemisphere. And then somebody said we can also see the North in the Northern Hemisphere. So Western Northern and Southern, right? And I know that I did one, two, three answers, so I know I should be all set with that one. I'm going to change this one. I'm going to make this one a one-pointer. So let's look at this. In which hemisphere? So one hemisphere. We're looking for the continents of Africa, Asia, Europe, and Australia. Do you see one that has all four of those? Africa, Asia, Europe, and Australia. Do you see one with all of them in it? One. Eastern Hemisphere. So in the Eastern Hemisphere, we see all of them. You are right. Where, where would you place Antarctica? Where is Antarctica at? It is in the Southern Hemisphere, but look at this, but it says label it. So here's my clue. If it's telling me to label it, there's two maps. Which map would you see Antarctica in? You see it in one or the other? Yeah, so you actually see it in map A. So this would be the, this would be Antarctica. That's okay. Where else do you see 
Where else do you see it? In the Eastern. So look at what I'm doing. I'm just going to be a cheater pants and I'm going to label it with two arrows going either way. Because those are both sides of Antarctica. And we said we found it in the Western Hemisphere, right? And the Eastern Hemisphere. Probably not, because it's actually in both, right? I didn't make you spell hemisphere out multiple times. That was kind, correct? Number five says, label the equator on both maps. Label the equator on both maps. Into which two hemispheres does the equator divide the Earth? So if I'm looking over here, which one is my equator line? Well, it is a map A, so this is my equator, right? But I also think there's one in map B. Can you see where my equator line is in map B? Where's it at? It's in the basically the same spot, right? So in the middle. So the equator is right there and right there. Equator. So when it says label, it means not only like point to it, but actually write what it is. So you'll have an you'll have time to label other maps and stuff, and you need to point to it and say, "Hey, this is Michigan. Hey, this is Australia." So when it says label it, you're going to draw an arrow to it, or you're going to make a dot for the city, and then you're going to write down what the city's title is. Yes. What two hemispheres does the Earth? What two hemispheres does the equator divide the Earth into? Label the equator on both maps. What two hemispheres does the equator divide the Earth? What two, what two hemispheres does it divide the Earth into? Perfect. Northern and Southern hemispheres. Now, look at this one. It says label the equator in both maps. Did we label the equator in both maps? Yep. Into which two hemispheres does it divide? Did we answer that? Yep. So notice there's at least two parts in this one. So these things, the questions, are chock full of answers. So you have to be super careful that you answer all the little bits and pieces. Does that make sense? All right, number six, label the following oceans on both maps. So where do we find the Atlantic Ocean? Is the Atlantic Ocean in map A or map B? Map A, so the Atlantic Ocean is over here. A-T-L-A-N-T-I-C, Atlantic Ocean. Um, I'm going to say not right now, maybe later, but if I have time to write it out, you have time to write it out, right? Where's the Pacific Ocean at, map A or map B? It 
It is. That was not what I was thinking, but you are right. So the Pacific Ocean is right here on map B. You can put an O. I will change my mind. You can put an O for Pacific Ocean. But the Pacific Ocean is also over here. So let me go back and look at the Atlantic, because I think I saw, yep, over here is also the Atlantic Ocean. So we found both Atlantics. Is there Indian Ocean on both of them? I only see Indian on the map. B. So Indian Ocean is right here. And again, I gave you the cheater sheet of putting an O for ocean. And now we need to do the Arctic Ocean. I think the Arctic Ocean is in both of them, right? So the Arctic Ocean is way at the tippy top over here. And the Arctic Ocean is way over at the tippy, tippy top over here. Any questions with that one? Which continents are located in the northern, southern, and eastern hemispheres? Oh boy, now I need the book. So I'm looking for continents northern, southern, and eastern hemispheres. What continents are located in the northern, southern, and, e and eastern? Is Asia located in all of them? Yes. Uh, Europe and all of them? No, Africa and all of them? So Asia, Africa, North America? South America? All three? So Asia and Africa, Asia and Africa. Which continents are located in both the Western and Northern Hemisphere? So now I have to look at Western and Northern. What's located in both the Western and the Northern? Oops, I'm not quite on there. Well, I see North America. Is North America in both? Uh, yes. South America. Is South America in both? Yes. And then Antarctica. Is Antarctica in both? No. So North America and... Okay. North and South America. What is the difference between the lines of longitude and the lines of latitude? So lines of long latitude, lines of latitude are what kinds of lines? I've got it up on the board if you're reading with your eyeballs. What's the difference between them? So one goes horizontal and the other goes, and we call up and down vertical. The horizontal are parallel, the vertical are not, right? That's like a slice of an orange, okay? So longitude are parallel, right? 
are parallel latitude are vertical, right? So look at this. Horizontal, horizon line, vertical, up and down, okay? And then I need my paper pencils. Vocabulary, cardinal directions, intermediate directions, compass rows. I will say compass rows an awful lot. Scale, symbol, map key, and locator. What are cardinal directions? Those are the four main or cardinal directions, like north, south, east, and west are cardinal directions, okay? North is the direction you face when you stand facing the north pole. So I believe I'm facing north, you are facing south. I'm facing the North Pole, you're facing the South Pole. The way, the quickest way for me to figure out North and South is, guess what? We have a South School and we have a North School. So if you can figure out where South School is, then, nope, South School is that direction. So if South School is that direction, and we're in North School, then you know North is this way, South is that way. So if this is North, this is East, rises in the East, yep, and sets in the West, okay? That's the quick nuts for our room. The uh, South is behind you, so if you're facing the North, the South is behind you. East is to your right, and what's it to the, to the other side? What's this way? West. What are intermediate directions? The intermediate directions are halfway between the cardinal directions. So halfway between the cardinal directions are NE, which stands for northeast, SE, which is southeast, SW, which is southwest, and NW, which is northwest. So we said the letters northeast, southeast, southwest, northwest stand for intermediate directions. For example, SW is southwest. Southwest is the intermediate direction between the south and west. And then we said, we already said southeast, northeast, and northwest, right? How can you, f oops, too far, Miss Richardson, too far. How can you find directions on a map? Not all maps show the North Pole. However, most maps you will see in this book have a compass rose. Um, this is the compass rose right here. We, so if I say ever say look at the compass rose, this is what the compass rose looks like. Even in Poppy there was a compass rose. Remember I told you and I said it's going the weird direction. Yep. Um, most maps you will see in this book have a compass rose. A compass rose is a small drawing that indicates the directions on a map. A compass rose usually includes both cardinal directions and intermediate directions. Look at the map below. In what direction is Shreveport from Alexandria? So if I'm looking at Louisiana, now if I slide this over, which I'm running out of room on my desk, but um, if I slide this over, this is north, south, east, west. Those little gray hashes, you see those little gray hashes? I can't quite get them. Well, you can't quite see them. You can see them just a wee bit. That little hash be halfway between the north and the east is northeast. The little hash half between south and east is southeast. Okay? So if I'm looking at... Shreveport. Can you find Shreveport? Shreveport. 
And, um, in what direction is Shreveport from Alexandria? So if I start at Alexandria and I need to go to Shreveport, which direction am I going? I got two thinkers. One thinker with a finger. I like that. Ooh, three thinkers. Ooh, I'm getting more thinkers. And? <laughs> Close. North. West. Northwest. Good job. Uh, in what direction is Lafayette from Baton Rouge? So if I start at Baton Rouge and I go to Lafayette, what direction am I going? Uh, it is, what, what did you say? It's not east. Baton Rouge is east of Lafayette, but if I'm going from Baton Rouge to Lafayette, south, it's kind of like southwest, isn't it? All right, so we are going to stop on page G7. I would put the paper in the... Green folder. We'll talk to you later. Bye.